Should we even bother filming this video because of what we pulled last time? All we need is more frost moth and read the back of the fusion strike booster box the road ahead reveals limitless potential as the new fusion strike style emerges to harness the unbound spirit of pokemon and trainers alike <laughs> so anyway that's the mood of the video so get ready welcome back my name is pokemon trainer megan we recently opened a fusion strike build and battle box you know what happened. Can we pull better? No. This is my first English booster box ever. I have opened one single other booster box in my life. It was the Eevee Heroes booster box. We all saw how that went. That was a good time. I loved it. This is a lot more, but I think I'm ready. So let's go. I'm genuinely a little bit terrified for this you know like when you open something incredible and then the next 80 times you open pokemon cards it's just like the worst even so the chase card i regret to inform you is espion v max because i'm feeling like being disappointed today huh. all right here we go it's already time. Um, gotta remember the new code card situation. I don't know if I know about like the thickness on it yet. So I haven't trained myself to feel like, oh no, that's a bad one. So uh, hopefully by the end of this box, we don't get there. Fusion Strike Energy. Elisa's Sparkle. Dreadnought. Glaring Darumaka. Sizzlipede. Stuffle. Sandy Gas. Plessel. Reverse hollow Helioptile and a non hollow Kingscon. I have to tell you the worst thing ever that happened to me. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that my uh, manager of my other job at the dog food store uh, had an, just an incredible, beautiful collection of Pokemon cards from back in the day. He had the uh, Shining Gyarados. He had one of those first edition hollow lugias from the neo set he had like everything like charizards all of it then he was like hey i'm having a child will you help me sell off my entire collection and i was like okay so i did sold off the entire collection except for a couple of the ones that i told him he was not allowed to sell so what happened was I told him about how cool and amazing Pokemon cards are nowadays. He went and bought some and then do you know what happened? He pulled the alt art Mew V and now he's obsessed again and it's my fault and I'm so proud. Um, I just taught him the card trick recently. Non hollow Verizion. Not off to the best start, but we got an entire booster box. It's fine. Word on the street is that maybe you're not like 100% guaranteed a secret rare in your box anymore. Um, like I would know, I've never opened a booster box before. So I guess we'll find out. Tyranitar V, thank you very much. What I did see happen was an account I follow on Twitter posted their opening of a booster box and that they only pulled this Tyranitar and a single hollow. Cannot confirm that really happened. Looks very disappointing. Think I trust. Um, so, but honestly, I just feel like this can't get any better than the build and battle box was already. Latias, non hollow. We're starting off real scary tonight. Uh, the one thing that I do love about the new code cards is that I always think I can see the green uh, reflection in the pack before I open it. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Shauna, um, my, my previously mentioned manager pulled a rainbow Shauna as well. I don't know how many packs he's bought, but might not be 
a safe amount. Hollow. <laughs> My sweet husband also pulled a full art Shauna, just the regular full art. And she's so cute. I know that we all love our uh, full art trainers right now. And honestly, the colors are getting so good and vibrant and beautiful. I do have an entire page of full art trainers at the moment. <laughs> like an entire page is really impressive. It's not that impressive, but it looks really nice. Um, I'm loving all the, look at that choodle. He looks like he has been woken up from a nap that he was like deep into. <sighs> okay. Um, I have no idea what I was just talking about. Okay. Well, that's fine. Electros. I am still hoping for sure for the full art bull tend. Um, but like go big or go home. Maybe? No, never say that. Okay. Pukamuku, the cool art that we thought was going to be the uh, promo art, but ended up not. But I kind of like this one better, so I don't know. Not sure if I'm going to try to collect all the promos from this build and battle box. I think I'm just going full on of all these guys. So, I don't know. Are you having a problem? When my husband looks like in a really concerned way at the camera. Some scorch. You know what? The alt art is just going to be like the last pack. That's how they packed this one. They wanted it to be really exciting because they knew someone was going to open it on YouTube. Um, and <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Look at the Eevee. Um, I know that we all think that there have been too many Eevees. Look at the Shanks. They're all... You know, there have also been too many shanks. But I love the cute Pokemon. Also, look at this Bunnelby basking in the moonlight. He's sweet. Chansey. And I guess we'll see. Heliolisk, Dunsparce, Graven, Mankey, Grogunk, Panseer, Gumi, Electross, and it's a cloister. Just straight up cloister. This always happens. I always pull like my fair share of good cards at the very beginning and it sucks me in and it makes me think, ooh, this set's gonna be amazing. Let's keep doing this one. Um, and then I pull nothing ever again. Do we like this crocodile art? By T Tomokazu Ko Komia? Komia? The names all look familiar now, but I'm just terrified of pronouncing them incorrectly and being roasted about it. So that's fine. Reverse Hollow Zumeril, who is so adorable, and a non holographic Araquanid. I am pretty immediately going to trade away that Inteleon that I pulled because I need to finish Evolving Skies. I'm so desperate to finish Evolving Skies. I have like none of the cards that like you need you know like the expensive rare ones so i have the whole main set now after this box we'll probably have the whole main set minus every v v max and hollow <laughs> in the whole set but i'm close that's all that matters so you know if i pulled anything really amazing out of this box anyway it would um Probably just go towards my Evolving Skies fund slash addiction. It really is like gambling, isn't it? It's kind of terrifying and unhealthy when you really think about it. So maybe, I love that Smeargle so much. If I don't pull anything in this box, I will just want to stop buying Pokemon cards. Then I can start saving for adult things like a house. Grass. Cramomatic, this weird Cramorant robot. Skaters Park, Frostmoth, Boneri. I can't be mad. There's so many cute cards in the set. Just like there were so many cute cards in Evolving Skies. Look at him. <gasps> Have we seen the his? <laughs> How do you pronounce it? His Hisuian? Hishu Hish His Uian. The one from Arceus. The pink one. I'm so excited. He's so cute. I just want a plushie immediately. 
non hollow maractus. We were just discussing sealed collections recently and how we do not keep a sealed collection because, like, I do not have the self control for that. Um, a whole booster box, though, seems kind of like a lot. Um, number one, because there's so many packs in here, they could all be duds. I don't know. Uh, but also, it's not like it's a very pretty, like, box on its own. And ETB, I can kind of understand. Or, like, the the ultra premium collection that I will never see in my entire life. And I've just... <gasps> Chandelure V! It's a V! And we pulled it maybe three times already since the set has come out, like, a week ago. But... You know what? Um, it's a hit! <laughs> you know how last video was like, my best pulls ever? This one's gonna be called, my worst pulls ever? Sandslash, Swadaloon, Growlithe. I will never be disappointed in seeing a Growlithe or an Arcanine. I'd still like to pull a Reverse Hollow Arcanine, if I can. Reverse Hollow Swampert. And a Luxray non hollow. A cute boy. So he's kind of a hit in my heart. Okay, we are manifesting literally anything. Sligu. Shauna. Victini. Is so adorable. Vulpix. Meltan. Toxel. Staryu. Mawile. And Maractus. And a beautiful full art Serena V. Look at her go. Look at those legs. Mmm, baby. Wow. Okay. I've never been so happy to see a full art in my entire life. She's cute. Can anyone let me know then why they decided to not guarantee a secret rare in the whole box anymore? If that's true, or is it just a rumor? We don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you, the people who cannot respond to me immediately right now. But I will let you know in the comments if we find out. Galarian Zigzagoon. Very cute. Mankey. Kalancher. Reverse Hollow Zorua. And a Holographic Landorus. We are officially on to side B. <laughs> so, uh... We'll see if this keeps picking up a little bit. It's not like we haven't pulled any hollows. We've pulled some hollows. Um, and to be totally frank with you, I don't know a whole lot about the cards in this set and how playable they are quite yet. Um, but I do know that I'd like to keep working on building decks if I can. Um, obviously we have a Luxray, we love that. We have um, the promos from the build and battle boxes, which are supposed to be very helpful. And that's all I know. So Gengar is supposed to be a really good one, right? Don't know. Have pulled both a V and a VMAX of the Gengar so far in the last video when we pulled stuff. Steel Energy, Semipore, Metapod, Battle VIP Pass. I've not seen this yet. You can use this card only during your first turn. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. I just don't understand the cards that are like, can only use it during your first turn. You know, I guess if you have a card already where you can like search for a card, but that would, if you could just search for any card that would most likely be a supporter and you can't even use supporters on your first turn. So wait, it was, just an item card, so if you have a Pokemon that can search for an item card, probably useful. But like Sylveon V, if you search for an item card, your turn immediately ends. So that wouldn't be the most helpful either. I don't know. We are all learning together. I haven't been on PTCGO in a hot minute though. Um, how do we feel about PTCG Live being pushed out to like July? 2022, that's okay, it's fine. Reverse hollow, Yveltal, and a non-holographic Verizian. 
Remember how I had too high of expectations going into this? Because I pulled an Inteleon last time? Like the alternate art one? I never want to pull an alternate ever again. That made me so mad. How dare the Pokemon company make me feel like so good because I'm like pulling such good cards and it's like such a good time and then just like never again. <gasps> Is there something? I think there might be something. Chili is <laughs> Copper Jaw, Zoroark, Glarian Meow, Gossiflor, Panpour, Eevee, Shinx, Reverse Hollow Quillfish, and a Ford Schoolboy so cute! Um I take it back. Thank you, Pokemon Company International, for the flirt trainer. You guys didn't have to do that. That was so sweet. Look at him. I just want to know how many hits you typically get out of a booster box. You know? Is it like 10? I don't know. There's 36 packs in a booster box? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't know what that means as far as like pulls go and what you should expect going into it. But like, I don't know. This does not seem like the best booster box opening I've personally ever seen. Reverse Hollow Pukamoo Koo and a non holographic Yveltal. All right, Turtonator. We always love the turtle Pokemon because my husband is a turtle fan. Pukamuku, schoolgirl. Can anyone tell me why the schoolgirl card is like worth way more than the schoolboy card? Is that gross and weird and kind of creepy? I know she's cute. He's cute too, right? Children, I don't know. Reverse Hollow Onyx. Beautiful. Stunning. I've never pulled one of the gold energies. It's so glittery and amazing. Look, it's cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, we did it. We pulled the secret rare. Thank you, Pokemon Company International. It was very nice. You don't have to do that. Fire. Brothers. Skaters Park, Low Punny, <laughs> Marsh Tomp, Wooloo, Pan Cham, Glarian Darumaka, Nzidi, Growlithe, sweet, sweet baby boy, Meowth, and a Gorbis non holographic energy psychic, Senta Scorch, Bug Catcher, Fusion Strike energy. I really would like to learn the Fusion Strike battle style because I never got into the single or rapid strike because I just didn't understand and I guess I didn't really want to because I didn't really care all that much um but I kind of do now because fusion strike seems cooler to me for some reason I think I was wanting to go rapid strike before rapid strike seemed like it was gonna be kind of cool a hit and <laughs> Um, because, <laughs> cause, uh, like Inteleon, he's like super, like, pew, pew, like, uh, you know, super spy, whatever. I thought that was cool. Super spy! Single strike was more like Urshifu, punchy in the face. I don't, I'm not really all about that so much. So, um, fusion strike though seems fun. Power tablet, I love the art anyway. During this turn, your Fusion Strike Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage. Fine, but the card's cute. So, hello Gengar V again. Okay, that uh, actually this is really great because I did trade away my Gengar V for another Evolving Skies card. So now I have one again to go with the Gengar V Max that I did keep. Good job, past Megan. Um, so when we ordered Evolving Skies packs from the Pokemon Center when they first came out. We ordered like 16, 18 single booster packs. And they were like all green code cards except for maybe two and they were just hollows. And that's it. Boosters can either be like your best friend or can like punch you in the face. Just like the Sixelagor did right now. 
I'm a full grown adult. You know? And it's like so hard <laughs> to not want to spend my adult money on Pokemon cards and, and not spend it on paying my bills. It's not worth it. Don't buy a UPC on Facebook Marketplace for $400. It's not worth it. Have we gotten one yet? No. <gasps> Reverse Hall of Butterfree. It's going to go in my Kanto binder. Thank you very much. And Toxicroak. Way more excited about the Butterfree than the Toxicroak in that one. Thank you, Butterfree. Um, let me know if a video about my little Kanto binder would be fun. I would have a really good time showing you. It honestly is just a random collection of Kanto Pokemon from like any and every set. Uh, not like the super vintage ones, cause I keep those in a separate binder in the vintage section of my other binder. But it's really fun to just see like the arts change over time and to see how different Pokemon have different arts. And I go by Pokedex number. So we start with Bulbasaur, we end with Mew. It's a really good time to see them all together. So cute. Hey, Reverse Hollow Turchinator for Jesse. Jesse loves the turtles and Lucario V. Wow, we love Lucario in this household. He's so cool. He's very, very cool. Shiny Lucario, we love. Amazing. And Riolu, we love. Amazing. Schoolgirl, Luxio. Metapod, Toxel. Totodile, Baneri, Clubopus, Tynamo, Dreadnaw, and a Grand Bull. The art's kind of cute though. He's like, where's my son? I'm confident we can get one more single pull in this box. Am I clowning myself? Maybe. <sighs> but that's fine. Um, Yo, that fire energy though, fire, you know? Energy, Croconaw, Elisa Sparkle, Beware, Angry Boy Choodle, Vullaby, Dewpiter, <sighs> Meowth, Onyx, Reverse Hollow Shelmet, Greedent, VMAX. Hello, Chunky Boy. This is one of the cards that Jesse pulled from his The Battle Box. So we are still just missing the V. Grass energy. <laughs> Skidrill. Trevenant. Adventurous Discovery. She's cute. <gasps> Babe. Clauncher. Mankey. Growlithe. Stuffle. Sigilyph. Reverse Hollow. Stuffle. And a holographic Steelix. We have three packs left. I said if we got one more hit, I would be happy. We got the Greed and VMAX. But if we got one more hit, I would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Zerud, Delcaddy, Darkrai, Kufant, Gligar, Slugma, Skitty, Phalanx, Reverse Hollow, Snom, and a Lee Fanny. I did tell my manager today or yesterday I was opening packs with him. I was like, that's the color you need to look out for. He immediately got mad at me. I would have been mad at me too. I'm the worst. Judge, Galarian Corsola, Quillfish. Vulpix, Chansey, Galarian Zigzagoon, Reverse Hollow Wooloo, and a Gorbis Non Hollow. This is it, fam. The last Bull Tund pack. Um, can we get a callback to that full art Bull Tund? That was my chase card on the last video. That I still want so bad because he's so cute. We saw one at a card shop recently. I wanted to get it so bad but I'm not buying Fusion Strike singles right now. Close. I really wanted to, but I'm not gonna do it. Um, cause I'm about to pull them right now. Okay, here we go. Toga tomorrow, Schoolboy, Primeape and an Eevee as well. Baneri, Shelter, Full Torb, Pansage, Reverse Hollow Phalanx, and a Holographic Starmie. Actually not mad about that at all. Haven't pulled him yet. And like you have already heard your crazy aunt Pokemon trainer Reagan say multiple times, I have a Kanto binder. This baby's going to my Kanto binder. This box was a little bit of a roller coaster to be totally honest with you. Um, 
I don't know if I would call this a good or a bad booster box. Um, one, because I have never opened a English booster box before. And two, because we did get the secret rare. So like, really can't complain. There's some good stuff, right? Yes. Yes. You, you did it. Thank you for your service. This ruined my life probably. And now all I'm going to expect are like top tier alternate arts when I open anything. <sighs> so say goodbye to him because he's going um, to a new home, hopefully in exchange for a little bit of evolving skies fire. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for other Pokemon related content. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>